Wednesday morning, here we are. There's Georgia. On her way to the dental hospital yet again. Get, get the braces all get the braces all checked out and get them adjusted and tightened and everything. <laughs> hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> back home, I, was, I only done that clip this morning just to show you where I was going. Yeah, we went to the dental hospital, me and Georgia. Um, everything went brilliant. They were well impressed with how much she's been looking after her teeth and everything and looking really clean. And she's taking good care of them, so good on her for that. Good on her. And she's had the wires changed and the colours. She's gone from pink to blue now. She's got little blue inserts on her braces now. Um, yeah, so we've got all that done. Took her to, took her back to school, dumped her off there. Then I come home and had to iron a new iron, iron a new iron, had to buy a new iron. Get my words right. Um, <clears throat> I got woke up at something like six o'clock this morning. Uh, Denise, so you know the plugs aren't working, so I checked the clock and everything's off. Fuse it, the switch in the fuse box had popped. Not popped, not switched off. So I said, what were you doing? At the iron. Right. So I had everything back on then. So she plugged the iron back in, but it went again. Tried again, but tried it. I think it's the cable. The iron itself, we've had less than a year. And it's a decent iron. It's Morphe Richard Swan. It was, it's one of those big makes, you know. Uh, so I think it's the cable. Because the cable, I don't know what your iron cable is like, I was, it, it's never straight. It's got like, little loop, yep, little loop, <laughs> little loop, <laughs> so it's like kinks every, but we don't wrap it up tight, we just sort of like, bundle it up and just put it away in the cupboard. So, that's probably what it is, it's probably a broken wire somewhere in the cable. But, we can't be without an iron. So even if I got in touch with this company, and even if I managed to find the proof of purchase um, would have to send it off to be fixed or replaced or tested or whatever you know and I haven't got time for that with iron clothes every day so I had to buy a new iron we bought one of those fancy new GML Phoenix gold ones and Denise's parents have got one I've actually ah, I'm carrying I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention this in a second is what I'm using one of these. Fancy bottom, isn't it? Yeah. GML Phoenix Gold. Uh, Denise's, mother, Denise's mother says it's fantastic. Her dad says it's fantastic. Denise tried it this morning. She was like, whoa, this is so good. This, this iron. And everybody I've spoke to who has used one of their mines says it's absolutely fantastic. So found the cheapest price I could for one which is £39 at Tesco and used the few Tesco points that I had which got another £3 off £3.50 off and I bought one so I'm going to get that tomorrow yes so yeah I'm using I was going to mention this I'm actually using my GoPro grip it's like one of them extendable arms it bends because um, I've got an adapter for my G7X to use with my GoPro mounts. Yes, more flexibility again. More flexibility. Uh, yeah. Don't know if you can see that. Probably easy. If I took it out of the bag, you'd be able to see, you'd be able to see it properly then, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right off. Get out. Oh, well. right. So it's got the the connector at the top, right, the pin. It's also got the things on the bottom for to fit into a GoPro GoPro mount. Really handy. It's not worth like if I don't want to use the GoPro, but I want to use the mounts. I'm sort of snookered, you know, because they're made for GoPros. So I bought one of these adapters. And also, gotta show you this. Anybody that's that doesn't use an e-cigarette won't be interested in this at all. So I warn you. Um, my e-cigarette is I bought it's it's an eye stick 
by Aleaf. It's a 50 watt one. Mine's the blue model. Nice sexy blue. But I bought some silicon cases for it and protect it. Uh, nice. That's the charging port at the back. The uh, I stick 50 watt on the bottom. It's got all the buttons and all sorts. It just sort of slots over it. So you good and I've got a, a nice nice blue one as well. This I've noticed a couple of marks on it from where I've been in the van and it's marked the blue and I, I hate that. Hate it. I'm the same with mobile phones, the slightest little mark on my mobile phone and I ah, hate it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it. I had a chat with Vic this morning on Skype. Um, old Salty65 himself, the old sea dog. Had a chat with him, he seems okay. Yeah. Um, Kevin, his wife was in the background and I've seen some of the paintings that she's done. A couple of lovely paintings I like. Very nice. <laughs> Butterfly and this other one with loads of like, like a square sort of pattern. Really, really nice. And Brandon. Uh, West Aussie, he popped on for a short while. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much been my day. I've got some washing in the in the machine there. Uh, I've got to go, uh, what time is it now? Five past two. I've got to pick George up at half four. I don't know whether to grab an hour's sleep because I'm shattered. I don't you know. I eyes feel like pee holes in the snow, they do. Uh, yeah, uh, just check my channel before. Well happy. Very happy. I know, it's not all about views, it's the fun. Yes, I totally agree with that. But I still like it. It's nice that people are subscribing. So at least I know the vlogs I do put up, although being rubbish, you know, the, the, the boring stuff I do put up, at least people are watching them, you know. Uh, at least people are feeling, seen enough there to subscribe. So to 391 now yeah, nearly 400 absolutely over the moon so thank you everybody that subscribed so far uh, really really do appreciate that I actually thought when I had my old channel not coffee and a slice of life I thought oh that would be really good I had 300 and something on there and I thought brilliant I didn't think I would get anywhere near that on on the right times channel but I have I've actually beat it um, I'm well happy about it. Mm. So thank you again everybody who has subscribed since I got this channel. Yeah, it's just us. Yeah. Our our boring life. But we like to show you what what happens. <laughs> Come into our lives. Um I don't think there's any other news at the moment. No, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Denise's parents are due back. Tomorrow, uh, Friday, I believe, because they're away in Greece because there's been a, something happened in the family, so they've had to nip away, get a flight across to Greece. Um, can't say too much at the moment, but when I can, I'll, I'll let you know what's happened. But uh, yeah, on that side, it's all, it's all go, but apart from that, not a great deal happening, you know. So I'll get going for the moment and. Yeah, I'll see you a little bit later on. So bye for now. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to <clears throat> give a little shout out to my old mucker Stu. Stu Grace. And there he is, in all his wisdom, looking like he's... I'll move the mouse off his face. Uh, looking like he's desperately trying to squeeze one out. It's obviously had some dodgy medication or something, because he, he hasn't been on the Guinness. No, uh, Guinness, he wouldn't be pulling a face like that, no. But, uh, yeah, he's obviously straight in there. But, <laughs> Come have spun round on the, on the mount. No, I don't want it to do that. Um, yeah, Stu's just started a new channel. So, obviously, he's got his normal one. He's got the opinionated, reviewed... Um, <sighs> Stu's vlogs. But this one's called The Daily Stu. Uh, it's supposed to stew, stew vlogs, which is um, his normal channel um, with his three subscribers and things like that, as he always says. This one, this new one, the Daily Stew, he's got to do from his 
phone. It's just daily videos from his phone. He's going to challenge himself to do do a video every day for a month. Um, he's just just quick ones from his phone, and that's it. Uh, but he is very fun to watch. It, he should anybody is not subscribed to Stu on any of his channels, pop across to them. Uh, well worth seeing. He, he thinks he's rubbish. I personally love watching him. I know Denise loves watching him. So funny. Uh, he just rambles on. <laughs> and it, it's just really funny watching him. Uh, Stu's a lovely bloke. Uh, met him, met him a, couple, uh, a couple of times. A couple of times in one visit when we're done a gathering. Sober at some points and not so sober at other points. Mm. Yes, Stu, Stu knows what I mean. Uh, but yeah, pop across to Stu's channel. Show him some love. Show him whatever you want, you know. Get on his get on his other channel, send illicit photos to him. Whatever you want to do. Uh, but pop across. Tell him I sent you. And give the guy some support. Okay, now I'll stick the links below anyway. We've just had a visitor to the door. <laughs> And he's give us a couple of free things. Mmm. Blocky ears. Yes! Oh, my ears are ringing now. <laughs> Where is it? There. Alright, did it there. We've just been given free smoke alarms by the fire brigade. Because um, the neighbours, a couple of doors, a few doors, three doors down actually had a, a kitchen fire just when we come back there's fire engines everywhere anyway and the fire brigade afterwards there's no nobody hurt as far as I know nobody hurt just a mess in the kitchen um, <clears throat> but the fire brigade they do what's called a hot strike now and they go around all the neighbours make sure they've got fire alarms and all that sort of thing and well ours lo and behold I'm glad he turned up that one that ugly sort of yellow thing it's been here since the house was built and when we had this wall built and because that never used to be there. The room used to be like an L-shaped. L-shaped. <laughs> um, the we had the new lighting put in and the new lighting in the dining room and everything. And they disconnected that and also disconnected uh, different things and but the f that was disconnected and it's never worked since so if I had a fire we'd knock it. So it's one of these things I just keep forgetting about and even though yeah the shops are sell them, you know, like DIY shops I totally forget about it. You come round and says, we'll give you them for free. Great, go put them up. He says, do you want do you want do you want to put them up or will we? And I'm like, no, get in there, go and put it up. <laughs> it's got a good job because I would have stuck it outside the kitchen door, which apparently is not the best place because all the heat comes out and it sets it off. Like that one used to. Used to go mental if you farted in the kitchen, you know. Um, so it's at the bottom of the stairs and there's one at the top of the stairs so really good thank you very much uh, Northumbria Fire Service <sighs> it's quarter past midnight I've already been to bed I've already fell asleep once watching TV but can't get back to sleep now I don't know if it's because I haven't had my painkillers since yesterday morning it's also like 36 hours or so I've got flipping restless leg driving me nuts and it's keeping Denise away it keeps waking up she gets very annoyed at it I'm gonna have to get in touch with the doctors and get them to give us some tablets to counteract it it's doing my head in seriously I need to be getting to bed because I need to be up in six hours so yes but I've forgotten I forgot to end the video before so I got that sort of wrapped up watching, well, having my tea because we had a Chinese takeaway, watching some vlogs, then reading about Rafa Benitez being the Newcastle manager. Yes, he signed a three year contract, he's staying with us. Fantastic. Now the fun starts to see who comes and who goes. Mm hmm. Um, what else was I doing? That's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's a Chinese takeaway we had, we didn't. We had pizzas. Georgia had a kebab. Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's pretty much it. Nothing much has happened. Um, everybody is okay. We've been along to that house, by the way, along the road. 
everybody is okay although they did go to hospital to be checked for um, because of the smoke and things because it was uh, like a carrier bag or something that went up in flames in the kitchen full of shopping which was on the cooker they've got an electric cooker apparently so easily happens this got an electric cooker mother came in from the shop and mother stuck the stuff on the cooker she went upstairs to start running a bath or doing something for the kids and one of the other kids they were just talking tiny little kids as well you know very young turned the cooker on and the electric rings heated up and all the shopping and everything went up um, the kitchen's black apparently but the mother uh, is asthmatic as well so and her face is all covered in black suit and all sorts of things from it and um, kitchen's covered in black suit and all sorts so yeah they got taken to hospital for checkups but as far as I know everybody's absolutely fine so that's really good you know the damage to the house can be repaired so, as long as the people are safe that's the main thing so, yes Anyway, I'll get away. I uh, hope everybody's had a great Wednesday, hump day. Uh, I'll catch up with you all towards the weekend. But on one last quick note, I know Stu Grice has done this, Stu Vlogs, and I've been thinking about doing this for a couple of weeks, trying out my Today in, today in One Minute videos again, like I used to do on my old job when I was on my lunch hours. Might just upload them quickly from my phone while, while I'm in the van, so... If you see any of them pop up, yeah, feel free to comment. <laughs> okay, take care everybody. Bye for now.